horse slaughter in the United States? What are horses to Americans? Horses hold a special place in our hearts. They help develop America. They're here for companionship, for sports, and recreation. Americans don't eat horses. The idea of eating horses never came to America, unlike in Europe, Japan, and other countries. Americans hold horses in their hearts and not their plates, even if they never own one. The spirit of a horse is very contagious. Now, the American Horse Slaughter Prevention Act of 2006 banned horse slaughter for human consumption in the U.S. At this time, there were only three horse slaughterhouses, two in Texas and one in Illinois. But that wasn't the end of the horse maltreatment in the United States. What happens to the now 90 to 100,000 unwanted horses? Some find new homes, second owners who were willing to put the time and money into adequately caring for these unwanted horses. Others find new homes at equine rescues, retirement facilities, or rehabilitation centers. These places use their own money to care for these horses forever. Other horses are even euthanized by a veterinarian hopefully, upon their quest of the owner. Some owners do this because they want to prevent their horses from ending up in poor conditions or being sent over the borders to be slaughtered. At the worst case, many unwanted horses are abandoned, neglected, or abused, with almost no way out. After the horse slaughter ban, horse neglect and abandonment increased. After this act, the only way to slaughter horses was to transport mass amounts of horses either to Canada and Mexico, where the horses endured long and grueling journey to the slaughterhouses several hundred miles away. This is an adver adverse effect that many people didn't think about after banning horse slaughter. Is this because of banning horse slaughter? It could be. It could also be the economic downfall of the US. Horses are very expensive pets, barrier bills, teeth bloating, worming, a unique and expensive diet, vaccinations, room and board. According to the USDA, roughly 93% of horses going to slaughter are healthy, sound, and in good condition. Owners just cannot afford them anymore. Is the answer to these concerns to reintroduce horse slaughter in the U.S.? Obama recently signed a bill reinstating horse slaughter in the U.S. The bill allows for federal money to be set aside for inspection of horse slaughters houses for human consumption. Since Americans generally don't eat horses or have them on the restaurant list, the meat will be exported to other countries. One reason that many feel that this conclusion is unsettling is because it's not the same as raising cattle or pig or chickens for slaughter. What's happening is people who no longer want their horse or cannot afford them are sending them to slaughter. These horses were not raised to be consumed, but they are raised for companionship, for a loving partner. This is not an alternative to no longer wanting or affording a horse. We, don't, we do not do this with our dogs or our cats. Along with this, any horse owner knows that on the back of a worming, deworming bottle, it says not for use in animals intended for human consumption. Every healthy horse gets wormed. It's not even safe to eat pet horses. Additionally, recent studies have found that fetobutazone, which is also known as bute, which is a very common anti-inflammatory use in horses, pose a serious risk to, to people consuming the horse meat. The horses that are neglected and abandoned, most likely at one point in their lives, were used, used deworming or butte. Reinstating horse on the U.S. is not going to help with the horse neglect problem if the killer buyers are following basic safety concerns. But I guess that's a risk that some people are willing to take so that they eat horse meat. Another problem is horse theft. Not a lot of people think about it, but it's a very true reality. A few months ago, the Washington Post reported that one of the mares was stolen from a very well-known horse stable in Montgomery County called Taylor, Maine. Thankfully, this mare was stolen prior to the reintroduction of horse slaughter in the U.S. More than likely, this horse was stolen for purposes leaving the horse alive and hopefully healthy. But now the price of horse heads is rising, and that means more theft. Theft of a companion horse never meant to go to slaughter. Theft of a little girl's horse. People still steal horses and sell them to auctions for slaughter. It can be quite profi profitable if done right. For example, a thousand pound horse can be worth $800 at a slaughterhouse. What can be done? 
The first thing that needs attention is overbreeding. There are so many unwanted horses because of overbreeding. We need to really pay attention to supply and demand of horses and breed accordingly. People who want to purchase a new horse should first look at horse rescues and rehabilitation facilities instead of buying a young green horse. Adapt, don't shop is a phrase I've seen for dogs, and this should certainly be applied to horses as well. Education is another thing that we need to pay attention to. Horses are very expensive. The initial cost is expensive, and maintaining of a horse is even more expensive. Horse feed, grain, that cost is continuously increasing. And hay is also very expensive and a hard place to keep. Hoof care, including the trimming of and shoeing of, is a monthly bill. Vaccinations, which are done seasonally and usually administered by a vet. Warming methods, can either be done seasonally or daily, are also expensive. Adequate, adequate teeth care, usually yearly costs of floating a horse's teeth, which is a file so they can eat properly. And a lot of space is needed. So if you don't have the space, then you have to pay to board a horse somewhere. Along with the cost, there's a lot of work. Cleaning of stalls and pastures should be done daily or weekly, depending on the size of the enclosure. And feeding twice, sometimes three days a day, three times a day. Potential owners really need to know all this before considering a horse. This may help with the unwanted horse issue. So my final thoughts are, horse slaughter should not be legal in the United States. Not only are there ideological issues against horse slaughter in the U.S., but there are health concerns for people who are consuming this meat as well. The banning of horse slaughter in the U.S. and the banning of the transport of horses outside of the U.S. is the answer. On a side note, I am grateful that there are regulations and inspections for the U.S. facilities ensuring the humane killing of these horses, whereas when we were transporting horses across the borders to Mexico and Canada, these regulations were not in place. At least we have the decency to try to protect these horses from suffering a horrible ending. I would rather horse slaughter be legal in the U.S., where there are some protections. But the final answer is that horse slaughter should be illegal altogether. Thank you.